Yo, what is going on you guys? Ryan Tech Tips here with impressions on the all new Apple AirPods Pro. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. Easy go. Okay, so starting off, I am actually recording the audio with these first gen AirPods. As you can see, I just have the normal ones. I didn't even buy the second gen because they were not when I bought these. So, okay. Anyway, I do want to start off with the design of the first gen AirPods. Now, they are completely different. So, imagine this is stretched and then they're a little shorter than these. Um, so, spec wise, I'll get into that. So, they have the new h1 chip which is different than the w1 chip that these have and i believe the second gen ones have uh however the beats pro if that's what they're called i forgot um they have the same h1 chip as the airpods pro so we will get into that more in a second however now these are certified ip certified so ipx4 sweat and water resistant what that means is that I get instead of like having no certified like these, it can resist some sweat and light rain, but like it's not like you can go swimming with these and they'll be absolutely fine. That is not what it means. However, that is nice. Um, I will say I work out at the gym quite a bit. And I always bring these along, and I haven't had any problems. So these are fine for me in terms of the sweat resistance. Um, okay, so Bluetooth 5.0, which is nice. Most modern iPhones, starting with the iPhone 8, which is what app everything that Apple, all phones that Apple sells on their website have Bluetooth 5.0, so I'll just say that to make it easier. Uh, dual um, band, um, oh, uh, dual beam performing microphones, I guess that's what they call it. That doesn't really mean anything, it's just both of these have microphones. I don't really know what to take away by that, but it's nothing like the microphones I use, the Blue Getty and the Razer Siren X, the, they're nothing compared to, like, the AirPods are nothing compared to those higher-end microphones. So, um, of course, these are wireless charging, uh, like, I guess, the pro name implies, and, uh, it's four and a half hours, uh, on a single charge, and then including with the case, it's 24 hours of battery life. However, that is the same on all AirPods, including the first gen, second gen, second gen Pro, uh, second gen with the wireless charging. And then, wait, should, the Pro? Yeah, these are called Pro, not third gen. Okay. What am I saying? All right. So that is covered with specs. One more thing I do want to talk about is the Pro name. So like the iPhone 11 Pro, it's not Pro, in my opinion, I don't think it's Pro enough to be called Pro, but I want to talk about that a little bit with you guys. So, first thing is they charge with lightning, and that's not bad, especially if you use an iPhone, but like, say you're on an airplane and you're using an iPad Pro with an Android phone. You're using USB-C and then you have, yeah. You don't have USB-C with you, you have, you don't have lightning with you, you have USB-C. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. That is, that would, that's kind of unfortunate. I feel like they should be USB Type-C. Uh, Apple, what is your excuse? I guess not a big deal if you're using an iPhone already, but if if you're not, then that would be that would be inconvenient. 
Um, okay. Second is I have not actually tried them on. However, what I hear is they do not stay in your ears. They stay in your ears better due to the, they actually have like the removable rubber tip that you see in other ear pod, in other earbuds. Uh, they have a, it defaults at the medium. Those come installed, but you can also install a larger rubber tip or a smaller rubber tip. Um, yeah. So, unfor I wish you could do that with these, because that would be nice. The Beats Pro, I hear stay in your ear better. I don't even know if that's what they're called. I'm just going to call them that for the video. So keep in mind, I am talking about the $250 earbuds that Apple just released. Or Beats, just, yeah, whatever. Okay. And I guess last, so the ecosystem works, the ecosystem including Mac. Um... I guess I'll I'm yeah I'll just talk about if I recommend them so yeah I will say they're definitely an improvement from the second gen one I did not make I thought about making a video on the second gen airpods however I did not because I just do not think they are worth upgrading for the first gen to the second gen but if you actually so they're two hundred and fifty dollars US these were 160 US, so that is a jump for sure. Same with the Beats. At $250, they are competing with other higher-end headphones for sure. So, some, like, over-ear headphones they are competing with. Not quite, like, for example... These are my daily drivers. These are the uh, Sennheiser HD 600s. Very, very nice headphones. I really like them. These are a little bit over 300. So higher, head higher end headphones like those don't quite compete. However, yeah. I will say, if you are looking for the best quality air, uh, earbuds, then it's either AirPods Pro or the Beats Pro. That's my opinion. If you want a more detailed video comparing the two, make sure you let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you for the support I've been getting on this channel. I just want to say thank you. Alright, subscribe. Peace.